I put my hands in the dirt, the first thing that comes to mind is in how I can really change myself to be like just happier. Seeing the plants grow has opened my eyes to a lot of things. Like, why did we start bringing fast food restaurants when we just plant something and have it grow? Creating something that's fake when you can have something that's real and like organic and healthy for you right here. The biggest obstacles facing manual arts are high class sizes, limited resources, and students come in with trauma. So we're gonna start off with our meditation and then we're gonna talk a little bit about our guests next week. Where we live, which is in a food desert, meaning that there's fast food restaurants around us and not very much like, healthy resources. There's not a lot of green, there's not a lot of trees, because it's all covered by building, it's all covered by cement. The garden was like a space to combat that issue and take agency to grow their own food. When I first started in the garden, it was abandoned. It was this like big green space and no one was using it. I started this garden with my students and from that came Chicas Verdes, which means green girls. We cleaned everything up with a group of students. We on our own, we created. It's something that started from nothing to like something really beautiful. Chicas Verdes is a group of girls that came together to maintain the garden and to promote healthy eating. Like everything that you see in here is because there was a student using their muscles. I don't think they're spiders. I don't know what they are. They're like little, the aren't they? Even different? like the girls here in Chicas Verdes, we're all like different, you know? We all have different personalities. We're all like, into different things. But when you're here, you don't, you don't even think about that. Y'all see like, y'all see each other as one. They were excited to be able to be outside. A lot of them don't have backyards or spaces where they feel safe to be outside. So this is a safe space for them to engage with nature. During lunch, I have students who come out and make their own salad from the food from the gardens. Look, look what she's doing. All right, so let's have everyone pick like three or four pieces of green. Since we started working in the garden, we have produced over 2,500 pounds of fruit. We've also planted 40 fruit trees on campus and throughout the community. I used to eat a lot of fast food, but now that I've learned so many things like that goes into the food, I've stopped eating like McDonald's and like started cooking on my own. If you really like just come together and y'all like passionate about something, you could like really make a change. I want the green one. The garden like really has been like I wanted one. <laughs> we low key like a family. Like <laughs> we're all like close. Yes, potatoes. No, come here, come here. <laughs> I got really close to other people who I never really thought I would get close to. You know, I'm not a very social person. I like to stay with, like, within myself or just like my two other friends but like it's really taught me just to like care for one another Good job, even if it might have just like touched or reached a few people it like shows how kids from South Central actually care about a community because not a lot of people are aware that there are kids here who are very passionate about like just changing their community